my goodness. Oh my gosh. When I make a mistake, it's one thing. Like we all make mistakes, right? But Nintendo making a humongous error. It's like kind of funny. It's kind of scary. It's kind of surprising. This was almost a catastrophic, never been this close error. And I kind of, I kind of love it. So we're going to go into all of this as well as a bunch of other interesting updates and reveals from Nintendo. Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. I have bad news. My mom hates my mug. I was telling y'all yesterday it's my favorite mug, and my mom was like, it's so ugly. Like, all right, mom, I didn't ask for your feedback. Anybody's moms just give feedback unasked. I feel like it's a mom mandatory quality. Like, they're gonna give you feedback even, even when you don't. Advice is just coming. It's just flowing. It's just there's there's no stopping it. But but come on, the mug the mug is great. It's my favorite mug. So good morning, Mario. Good morning, Switch fans. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Uh, Cult of the Lamb is out this week. They sent me this this little plush with the bell. It's not sponsored or anything. Uh, I just I don't know. It's a cute plush. But Nintendo tried to get real cute with us. Okay, this Platoon Three Direct is tomorrow, and y'all better join me for that live stream because I'm getting up at 5 a.m. for you. So click the link in the description down below for that live stream, okay? You know I have a wild, wacky sense of humor when I get up super early, but Nintendo almost just goofed the whole thing up, okay? They set the direct for today in a whole bunch of countries, all right? The US was still set for tomorrow, but in the UK, Australia, Belgium, Spain, and Germany, they set it to happen today at 9 a.m. And the countdown started and everything. Like it was like the 10 minute YouTube countdown. They didn't catch this thing until three minutes and 34 seconds ago. So they almost leaked their own direct. They almost did. Honestly, I wish it would have happened just because this would have been like a crazy once in a lifetime experience where Nintendo messed up major in like a funny way that like any normal person would mess up, but Nintendo did it. They're like the masters of we are so perfect and we never mess up and we don't even have delays when everyone else has delays. They're just so cool like that. They almost just dropped the direct a day early. These things are pre-recorded. They're done. So it's it's ready. It's just sitting there waiting for them to hit go. But they goofed the day. And as somebody who's done YouTube for nearly 13 years, I've goofed the day. <laughs> I've goofed the day. Not on Switch Force. Oh, we'll save that story for another day. It's definitely a, it's a doozy. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. There's a doozy on Nintendo Switch as well. All right. I found this to be fascinating. Apparently, if your Switch gets 2,000 games or more, they start disappearing and <gasps> who would possibly have that many games? Some whale, right? You have to be a Nintendo Switch whale to be able to buy 20 or 2000 games on your system. But if you have more than 2000 games on your system, they'll start disappearing. Interesting. Now this does include demos and trials and things of that sort. So maybe the 2000 number isn't too unattainable, but basically uh, you have to go in and delete new titles. And every time you delete a new title, one of the missing titles will reappear because the system is hard capped at 2000 titles. So it'll just show that. Now, obviously you're not losing access because you could go redownload them. And if any of you are planning to get to 2000 Switch games, let me know. I mean, if the system does go for the 10 years that they claim, it's possible with demos and stuff, right? Like if you think about test fires and trials and indie games and sales. And I mean, I am like Switch guy, right? I've been doing this since before the system came out. I don't have anywhere near 2,000. I have hundreds and hundreds, but 2,000 is quite a lot. Let me know how many Switch games you have in the comments down below. Is anybody out there remotely close to this? Is anybody out here? Because I'm I'm shocked that somebody even figured this out. Apparently, it's a, a guy named David. So David has 2,000 Switch games. Very, very neat, David. Now, what's less neat is that Marvel Midnight Suns is delayed again. This is bonkers to me because this game was out in like seven weeks and it's delayed again. They've been showing like full on character videos, doing like press releases. They've been sending stuff to creators and boom, it's just delayed. So one of two things is going on here. The game is severely broken or early mock reviews came back and they were so bad. They were like, we can't put this out. It'll be colossal failure and Marvel will come down like the freaking God of Thunder. So... The good news here though, is maybe the switch date can make it. It doesn't sound like it though, because they do say again, hey, it, listen to this. This is how dirty they're doing the switch. It says, we will launch later this fiscal year, which I think goes till March, 2023. So this is an early 2023 game on PC, Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. 
with Nintendo Switch version following at a later date. So even though they don't have a date, they're like guaranteeing that the delay for the Switch is going to be even more, which again, kind of bonkers how these companies can't manage to put it on a system that has more systems than, look, okay, PC is huge, but Xbox Series X and S and PS5 combined don't come close to the Switch, and yet they're not prioritizing this version at all. Very, very interesting. Firaxis does say it's their biggest game ever. These are the XCOM makers. I understand wanting to get it right. I'm afraid they're going to remove cards. I love the card-based battle system. I think the feedback has been that people don't like that. And I bet this game comes back in 2023 looking a lot more traditional than maybe I would like. But maybe it'll be more appealing. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a better game. They've done XCOM super well, so let's trust them. But... Yeah, I don't think this is the last delay of the year. I think there's still going to be more delays and things that shockingly come, don't come. I, I don't think it'll be anything Nintendo though. Like I think Pokemon hits. I think Bayonetta hits. I think Splatoon absolutely hits that direct. I mean, they almost put it out early. But other games from other companies like Hogwarts Legacy, I think that's a game that could just, that could, that could be booted. We'll have to wait and see. We do know though that the Sonic 3 movie is locked in for holiday 2024. Three Sonic movies out there before we even have Mario. Well, I guess the Mario movie will be out sometime next year, but I'm just saying like they've announced and posterized and graphicized and, and actorized and made all these things. We know exactly what's going down in these three Sonic movies and we don't even have like a real poster for the Mario movie. It's just interesting how different companies handle things and Paramount and Sega are like, boom, throw that marketing muscle out there and it's working. I think Nintendo better rethink their strategy. We talked about it yesterday with Mario plus Rabbids. Like, Nintendo should put more muscle behind that because that's like a cool, explorative, big Mario game, and they act like it's not their thing. But they should really own it and, and make it at least partially their thing and put some marketing muscle behind it because that's a big Mario game this holiday season that could do really well, will probably review super well, and just won't have a lot of shine. I, I hope they, they figure out that if we want to be global, like, like Sonic clearly has become for Sega. If we want to be like this mass multimedia thing, we got to market and, and they better go hard in the Mario movie. Like I know that thing isn't out this year, so they're withholding and, and maybe it's a disaster as well. I don't know, but they better hit it hard. We better get Super Bowl ads. We better get big posters. We better get McDonald's crossovers. I don't know. I'm just saying that Sega, for whatever you think about Sonic and the Sonic movies, they do a really nice job. They kind of crush it and they get big actors, they get big promotion. The movies are better than they probably should be and I can only hope the Mario movie ends up turning out this well. Uh, and I hope it doesn't get delayed again because it would be, that would not be a Sega Nintendo clash of the past if we had three Sonic movies and zero Mario movies. But hey, maybe, maybe these are the two big franchises. Like, you know, it's Marvel vs. DC and now Sonic and Mario are back at it, but this time at the movie theater. I'm just gonna show you the mug again so you can make your vote if it's ugly or not. Do you support me or are you team mom? It's not ugly, but uh, what also isn't ugly is I heard, you ever hear like old songs from a long time ago? I heard the Young Money song Bedrock and I was like, oh my gosh, this takes me back like 15 years. Anyways, let's go forward about 15 days. In the poll I asked, are you considering upgrading to the Splatoon 3 Switch OLED on August 26th? 66% of you say no way. Now, if you don't have an OLED, well, the OLED is actually really nice, but I understand like, it's superfluous. Why buy a $360 Switch? You don't need it. 21% of you already have an OLED, which is, that's a lot. A lot of you have upgraded the OLED and I'm I'm excited for you. I do think the OLED is fantastic. And like now almost a year out from that system's launch, I do think the OLED is like a, it's not a successor, but it's a worthwhile addition. I, I do think it's the best way to play bar none. And I do think it, it's a substantial improvement just over the, you know, how the handheld mode, you know, plays for you. 11% um, say you're thinking about it and 2%, my 2% crowd, let's high five, come on, bring it in, bear hug. I already have an OLED, still want it. I'm getting that thing, you know I am. I'm gonna unbox it for all y'all, August 26th, that's coming up in, like I said, about 15, oh, about 17 days. But yeah, it's, it's unnecessary, but it looks so sick. And tomorrow, if they justify Splatoon 3, 
then you know like I extra have to have this because I think that game is going to be great. I, I don't regret my Splatoon 2 Pro Controller at all. In fact, I love this. I love this controller and that game was great. So if they can make this game good, then it's worthy of that. Oh, I'm going to get the Pro Controller too. I'm going to get the whole. I'm crazy. I hope you guys all are enjoying your day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying happy, staying positive out there. And until next time, my people, if your day is looking down, remember, okay, you are alive. You are here and you have an opportunity to make it better. Not everybody gets that. As long as you have an opportunity to improve things, you got a shot and I think you got to fight for it. So thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Appreciate it even more. Till next time, Switch Force out.